morning, pre-sunrise, on this increasingly light, uh, eventually turning into morning today on the 27th of September. Late fall, early fall, right? About a third of the way through the fall season, though, as we wind down September and work our way into October, right? In the fall season in the greater Chesterfield Township metropolitan area in the great state of Michigan, right? This is Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. For you, like, subscribe, and share for that aforementioned one-of-a-kind company made. Not for sale. Probability based. Trading alert. Technical analysis. Company philosophy. And all the other mumbo-jumbo that goes on around here, right? But we're going to start out. We'll get into the gold a little bit later. I got the price target from going to back the truck up. Me and Robert Kiyosaki. Me and Robert are both going to back the truck up, right? At a certain price. Uh, we went into the Bitcoin a little earlier this morning. We'll go into the, uh, um, pick a random coin. We'll go to this fucking thing. People seem to like this. Right? We don't want the monthly, though. It's a new coin. See that? We got that nice bounce now. We might be trying to form that right shoulder now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Last night. See that? It actually hit that. My man, uh, Johnny D. See that technical analysis industry exclusive? Uh, the reason why Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing is simply the best technical analysis. It hit that neckline, major support. We have that head and shoulder stopping reversal pattern drawn out. And now I think we're moving into the right shoulder. So the high end potential now is about that 0. 0.6069, right up there, right? What a pound, a beautiful bounce, right exactly where we thought it should be. And now you can play that, whatever that was, a 26.5% move or whatnot, and then see when it gets rejected, it's going to come retest that neckline and probably break down to a 0 0.307. So that's coming to fruition. It's like I have a crystal ball. Uh, we're dropping dimes in the crypto market in the year, right? Uh, like, subscribe. Hit that bell notification. If you're one of the 60% of my audience that don't subscribe, what the fuck are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, right? Obviously, you're getting valuable information. Let's go back to the key, and the key is the key to the shithouse, right? And we can see it continues to break down. I believe I thought I had a head and shoulders going on here based on that. Yup, absolutely. And you can see that was a inverted, or a, it's a slanted head and shoulders topping reversal pattern. It's a big head, right? Now we're dipping back down towards that neckline. And if you get too far down from there and a little bit of volume of the tank comes in, you come back down way down to that target. Uh, right at the right into the shit hole. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. If you can't hold that major support, bounce back above that trend line, right? You're gonna come down some more. So we'll keep an eye on that in the key to see if you can uh, make a U-turn with the key uh, away from the shit house towards the rich, uh, towards the rich uh, neighborhoods, right? It's these heist and chase the criminal gangs. And then the dead Jerome. I don't know where Jerome's at. He used to comment a lot, but he likes the dead. We were telling them that that was going to come down, right? See, when we worked our way through that Vincenzo quadrant, see that with the yellow lines as you worked your way through how volatile it got. We had that quick stake out right around the knoll phase in the middle, right above that blue pointed arrow to the right, right? Now we're way down there to where we thought we could come in the deep, uh, deep down in the darkest uh, spares of the shithouse. We're way, and this isn't even really the shithouse, this is, uh, you just worked your way through to get my shit together. It's all in the last line of defense. Shit out. So if you can't get stability, you're going to come down to that point zero zero two uh, nine six nine, right? So another phenomenon called by Vincenzo, we were telling you it was going down. You can see that little arrow down there, just south of that arrow. We were pointed down a blue arrow. Another phenomenal call. We've been telling you a lot of this shit was coming down, right, for months. For months! And y'all don't pay attention because you're too concerned with the day-to-day -day price at the overall trend of the market. Just the same as DGB, when we had that critical where that blue arrow is, a major sell zone months ago. No, oh, it was even farther than that. That's not even that. Way back there. See that? See where them circles are? 
we had a big cell signal up there, and then there was a 10% bounce from a major crash. And everyone, oh, Vincenzo prematurely called the cell. Yeah, premature what? The fucking coin's down 90% from the top. Look at this. All you people that got, this is all about the time that that Elon Musk bullshit was going on. And this fucking coin is down because you've been fleece heisted and shisted 84.69% from the top, right? This coin crashed. And then we had a nice pump, and then it's starting to crash again, like Vincenzo told you it would, right? 89% from the top. That's how much you guys are down because you thought it was going to a dollar. Some bullshit called Digibyte. And then I remember when you guys used to ask me, if, uh, should you sit in the Digibyte stable coin? And I used to laugh. It was the funniest shit I ever heard. Digibyte stable coin. Uh, stop, no, stop, uh, because stable, by definition, means it doesn't move very much, up or down. It's stable, right? It's fucking stable. You wouldn't confuse a fucking... Uh, Massaging side with being still, would you? No. Right? A stable coin means it's stable. It only moves up fractions of a percentage up or down in a year. Not even, you know, this thing's moving up 30, 40, 80 percent a day. And you fucking people were calling it a day. Yeah, how fucking stable is this coin? Remember that? <laughs> Remember that up there, guys? Oh, this is so funny. Remember up here when you guys are trying to say, Oh, I'm going to dump out of the risky shit because it's going to crash. And I'm going to go into a <laughs> stable coin digibyte. Yeah, that's real fucking stable. Down 89 fucking percent. You're right, it was stable. Stable going down. It was the most stable asset, you, the most stable risk asset you could have been in because it consistently stably went down, right? You fucking moron. Stable means it don't move. What the fuck's wrong with you guys? You guys really need to get me to a thousand subscribers so I can get my classes up about numbers in Jabroni Killer, where I have everything that you need to learn about what a stable coin really is, uh, and so you don't get fleece ice and ice. But that was just so funny. I remember I used to get thousands, or not thousands, but at least twenty-five to fifty emails every forty-eight hours asking about stable coin Digibyte, and I would just send laugh emojis and whatnot, and then would do something like this on my channel, right? It's crazy how easy uh, you can be please heisted and shisted, right? Just like this kind of nonsense. Um, this fucking shyster. This guy's a huge shyster. I remember... This fucking scumbag. Where's this fucker at? Oh, what is he fucking deplatform? He can't find a fucking guy no more. Fuck was this guy's name? Bitcoin, rich. I don't know where he went. Maybe there he is. Not big Christopher Green. That's that shyster. AM TV. Oh, I can't miss the AM. Look at this shyster. This is how you guys. Because the low education and financial IQ and the gullibility and the intellectually dead group that you got, you got a shyster like this with his Bitcoin rich universe, uh, Bitcoin rich bullshit, where he's going to make you rich by watching his stupid videos at $300 a year. He's a shyster. You know what I mean? You ain't going to learn nothing on here for $300. You're just pissing your fucking money away. You might as well just buy $300 worth of Bitcoin and then turn that wallet off and chuck it on here. And hope it went off. Because this, this is the kind of gullibility and kind of fleece heisting and chasing you get by the charlatans.
when you start paying for shit like that. This is all nonsense. It's all junk. This guy's a shyster, right? He used to fucking... Now he's all about God, which I like God. God's fine, but he's trying to leech off the Christian belief and those kind of people. But he used to be a completely different guy about what he was talking about, and then he went straight to Bitcoin. Right at, right, he didn't talk one bit about Bitcoin until about just before uh, Thanksgiving in 2017 when Bitcoin was pushing 15000 And then December 1st, he launched Bitcoin Rich University and says he has all these students. And then he'd be like, my students are up 250% in a week. Yeah, because the crypto market was peaking from 12000 to 19669 and then it collapsed. And then as it got a uh, year into the bear market, because it was about a two-and-a-half-year bear market, he just completely went silent, went private. He never had his comments on. And then he went to gold when it started skyrocketing. And then as soon as crypto came back to life, he went right back to it, right? He's a shyster. Stay away from that kind of nonsense. Once Vincenzo's at 1,000 subscribers, I'll have everything you need to have as members. Brony Killer, where you can only get that valuable, insightful, educational information uh, as members. Brony Killer, right? Like, subscribe to the channel. Go crypto and not to peace. Love, people.